Hello guys and welcome back, Messenger of Death here, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We finally made it out the sewers. It was a top old job. Died multiple times, but we are playing on the hardest difficulty, so... Yeah. It's always fun. Now, where I actually want to go to... Is... I want to go to the Imperial City. Now, I don't know whether to add a rule on fast traveling. Can I fast travel? Or do I have to actually go there first and then fast travel? Because I can literally just fast travel to any city in this game right now if I wanted to. But I feel like that would be a bit cheap. So I have to actually go to the location to fast travel to the location. I can't just literally just go, oh, there's where I've got to go, fast travel. Can't do that. Anyway, let's get our way to the Imperial City. Blood crab. Your legs. That was that was a horrible fail. Gotcha. Oh. Don't bring gauge. They're incredibly slow. I mean, they'll hurt if they hit me. They're so slow. Quite easy to avoid them. Oh, silver knife. I can sell it. Um, let's begin making our way to the Imperial City. Okay. Uh, come on. There we go. We got up. Inclination was too much. But yeah, I should be safe outside of the city walls. Be very nice. I should be safe. Very good. Now, uh, this is a prism, which is not where I want to be. Right, I need to remember F is to put away. I was trying to remember what it was to put my weapon away. I move faster with my weapon not drawn. We are in the market district, which is perfect. That's where I want to be. The problem is, it is night time. It is going to put me in a bit of a pickle. How are right. You? I'm good, thank you. Save the game. Now, there sometimes can be an enemy down there. I'm hoping there isn't. Okay, very good. Ah, there's still one through the wall. How am I doing for weight? Maybe I'll come back for these wines and stuff later then. I was hoping I could actually sleep, but I guess we'll wait. Uh, we could also make that a rule as well, where I can't. Um, well, that was a terrible weight. So for the first day, I'm able to I'm able to wait, right? Well, then I must get a bed to wait in the future. I think that sounds fair. That way, I'm not just you know waiting constantly and getting everything back and kind of cheesing it, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Doran Nibbon Bay DLC. Edgar's discount spells. Very good. I wouldn't mind going here. Hello, my friend. Edgar Votrine. You don't want the very best. You want cheap. And I got cheap. I like the sound of that, my friend. 
Only quality goods for sale here. Now, what can I interest you in? What I am wanting is this, but I obviously don't have enough. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually. May I interest you in some of my sell some wares? first? What I can do is I can try and uh, persuade this guy with gold. Get those so prices down a bit more. By bribing. I, for me. See? Was that hard? Done. Okay. Now what I should be Any able more? to do is... No, 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 no. What I should be able to do now is haggle. I should be able to drag this slider across a bit. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually sell any items to him right now. Bye. I need to actually go sell to somebody else. I will do. Uh. How are you? Go to the fighting chance. We can get some gold here. Okay. Not open. Where's the shopkeeper? Why ain't it open? Ah, it is. It was being buggy. Okay, fair enough. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. And I offer advanced training for armorers. Good. Armor right. weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? Uh, well, you can start by buying things off me, for example. You can buy that off me. Give me gold. Buy this off me. Buy this off me. A good pro you got... You got a great... That seems... Now, I could actually get more off her if I bribed her. Come right on. now, I'm just trying to make a little bit of money. Be seeing you. Uh, we're going to go sell a bunch of potions. Where's the Gilded Carafe? There you are. Very good. I don't know why the quality is so terrible. If I was on console, it'd be so much better. Alchemist under one roof, far more than Thorinir would ever have, despite his horrid business ethics. Hey, let's do business. Right. Now the thing that sucks is there's no way to actually just you now shortcut my way down. I have to literally drag this over and over. But if I want to level up my mercantile up as much as possible. I kind of have to do items one at a time, and it sucks. So I'm actually going to skip to when I'm done. You got a great deal there. Let's see. Good to see you.
Okay, guys, I sold the majority of my potions for now. Actually, gonna go here. And. You don't want. Let me buy. Scamp. Definitely want Scamp. It's a terrible summon, but early game, it's a not bad summon. So, bear that in mind. Another reason why I went with Mercantile as well, if I get to 50, summon journeyman, I believe I can sell items to any person I want, and some traders are better. Because if I go into Haggle right here, he's an apprentice. Obviously, the people that you want to trade to for the best value and stuff, you, um... It depends on their merchant skill. Obviously, some merchants only have certain uh, amounts of gold they'll give you for items. Obviously, this guy doesn't sell items, he doesn't have a limit. Other people do. I also want... He doesn't sell it. No, he doesn't. Damn. I was hoping he might have a mage light or something, so I could level my illusion a bit, but seem to be the case. Guess my illusion skill isn't high enough for it to show up, maybe. I could bound a dagger for fighting with, but don't really need to. But we have got the scamp now, which will be absolutely brilliant. Uh because basically that's just an essential tank for us and the summons right now may be terrible but um it may be terrible right now but it's something having an extra guy to eat bits for me and whatnot is going to be absolutely brilliant how much gold have i got left 74 out of 200. Now, the person I'm mainly going to be selling my magical wares to is going to be her at the Gilded Cafe, my alchemy story. I have everything but the budding for the time being. under one roof. Okay. So, a little trick. Good day. I draw my weapon. I have everything but the budding alchemist Speak under to one her. roof. What? And then start bribing her. That, for me, see, was that, that'll get you something. Then exit. Goodbye. And I put my weapon away. I have everything but the budding alchemist under one roof. Take your time. And now it's gone up even more. A little clever trick you can do. Now, it says disposition of master 77. That's not entirely true. I can still get it up more. If I really want to. Good to see. But the place I want to go now is I want to go to Skingrad Mage's Guild, honestly. Um, so, obviously, I want to go the other way. The reason why I kind of want to go to Skingrad Mage's Guild is if I join the Mage's Guild, I get to basically loot things for free. Which is free gold, essentially. And I can also get all the stuff for making powerful potions, even more now and Gingrad may not be the greatest place ever but it does have some other alchemy things you know i got the pestle and mortar in that cave i'll get the other pieces that i need i don't have to buy them they're free for me i just get them instantly which should be absolutely fantastic just check i'm going the right way still yes i am so unfortunately I do have to you have my ear, citizen. Uh, walk to Skingrad because I did make the no fast travel rule. If I've never been there, I can't fast travel. Which is makes things harder on me. What I will do is while I'm on my way there, you're not going to watch any of it. But if I come across combat, you'll see those bits. That way you're not watching me literally just do this. Not very exciting, is it, guys? So, if I come across anything, like any enemies, you'll see that bit. But you won't see me running all the way there. 
I'd love to do a speed up option where I go into my OBS uh, recording and speed up the gameplay so you literally watch me run at like three times speed or something. Well, the problem is, is I don't know why, but in the edit editor software I use, if I try and speed up, it messes up the audio for everything. Even when I separate it, even when I trim and separate those bits, it will still mess up the audio and I don't know what to do about it. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I believe this guy gives me a quest for sort of fish scales. Hello. You know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. Oh dear. Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Well, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm not going to do it because I don't know if you'll give me the quest. How can I help? Go on and Wait, help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Until one of those slaughter fish down near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. I see. About those scales. The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this lake. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I've picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Uh, okay. Out, won't you? See, I'd love to, but I don't think I can cast magic underwater. So, that just kind of makes me, you know, out of luck. That one. I mean, maybe at some point I might I get myself some good weapons or something. Oh, the butterfly got away. Where is it? There it is. Meh, meh, meh. Can I get your wings? Give me your wings. Ah, oh, I give up. Not bothered. Right. Check. I need to head straight down this way. Oh dear. Jump, help me out. Yeah. Jump really isn't the greatest, but... It is what it is. You can do it, Scamp. I believe in you. Oh, shit. Ah! Yep, you're a bandit. I like how he just stood there and let me walk up to him now. Damn. Get him. I actually walked into that. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Ow, there goes half my health. Move, scamp. No, no, get out of my way. I'm trying to loot him. I want his things. I can sell them and get me more money. And I'll always take some alchemy ingredients. Now, there was a ghost here as well. 
Um, I'll heal myself up though. See, it's a lot cheaper now that I've got the uh, restoration as one of my mages. There was a ghost. I did see a ghost. Get them! Okay, just on there. Never mind. We're off. I'll be back, guys, when some something interesting happens. Ah, Fort Virtue. Um, I am going to grab this. This is one of the way shrines around the map. Which is, uh, I believe I need it for one of the DLCs. I need to go visit all the way shrines on the map. But I just don't remember where they all are. But if I see one, very nice. I'm going to walk up to it. All right, where am I going? Gone off path. That way. Okay. Very good. Off we go. Off we go. Alchemy ingredient. Good. Oh, it's a scamp battle! I win. My scamp was better than yours. <laughs> yours just stood there and let you die. Aha! Give me! Where are you going? Too off to fight. Uh, my scamp just... Daddy wanted to go for a wonder, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Daedric Shrine, Mask of Clavicus File, I believe. Yeah, today is Clavicus File. I just want to get this location on my map. Good. I could actually do that quest right now. That's a trick I could do to get it. It involves me killing somebody. I'm not going to. Anyway, I'll be back if some interesting happen. Hello, Imperial good sir. Wolf pelt for free. Mind if I do. Get hit. Get them, my friend. Hey, look at him go. Little scampy boy. Champion of the people. I... I'll take it. Oh, you want me? Hell yeah. The old scamp. See, the one of the things about this game is when you fast travel everywhere, you don't get to explore the beauty of the game. 
it does kind of subtract from things. Like, uh, just seeing the luscious landscape and whatnot. Looks so good. But... I don't know why the quality is so terrible right now. Like, it's just a really big, uh... Issue, in my opinion. Oh, I did not mean to attack you. Not turned on me, have you? No. Okay, good. Yeah, your summons can turn on you if you attack them, by the way. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the detail looks so shoddy and terrible. Ooh! Page battle! Uh, where's Scampy Boy? One out. I, lo I love it that summons don't get affected by the difficulty. They still do the natural damage they're supposed to do. Because the problem is with this game is... I believe when you get on the highest difficulty, you do like 0 0.5 damage or something. Not even that. Maybe you just have massively more health. Hey, you also love the athletics a lot by traveling about instead of fast traveling everywhere. This is a shrine where I can get a free buff. Fell by the uh, glow. Draw from the power. Boom, two buffs. Ooh, alchemy. Very good, Mother War. Yeah, that's why it's good to actually, you know, travel around and see the wilderness and actually explore this game because it is quite beautiful. I mean, the graphics being shoddy is an issue, but uh, it is a beautiful game. Always be on the lookout for those alchemy ingredients. Uh, what is it, citizen? I don't know that one, okay. More flax? Very good. More flax. These are very good for health, I believe, if I remember correctly. Now, I know there is a bandit that likes to hide outside of, uh... Places around here. Derelict mine. I need to come here for a quest at some point. So having this on my map now is actually very handy. Bone meal, alchemy ingredient. So much in the wild that you can find. Right, okay. Uh This away. Very good. Pay up for it. Oh, that made me jump. No. Take it from me if you can. We can play it. Help me! Ow! Oh! Ow! 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 <sighs> He's gonna kill me! No! No! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! All the way back! Oh! <laughs> the pain! When I get back to that point, well, I'll be back. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Another two-handed weapon bandit. 
this time. Okay. Uh, where did your weapon go? Oh, it's a steel war hammer. Bit much. Ah, screw it. I'll pick it up. Yeah. Yes. Can't get back up now. That's a problem. Or oh, can I? Yes, I can. Another enemy somewhere. Get stuck. Die. Okay. Now that this combat encounter's over with, I'm saving. Okay. Well, but we're on this long journey again. I'll skip to the important bits. How about no? How about no? Yeah. My scamp is superior. Okay, let's grab this shrine again. Yes, love, beauty, etc, etc. This is a pain. The pain that I've got to suffer with, because I chose to do a hardest difficulty. Where if I die, it means trekking so far back, just to get back to where I were. Which just isn't very fun. You there, help me out next time, eh? Ah, oh, you're just turning away from me. I ask for help and you walk away. Useless Imperials. Typical. Always useless. Can't defend Skyrim from invaders. Can't defend me. Useless, I tell you. Us. An eye out. Or oh, tank. Scamp versus scamp. You're running away? Why are you running away again? Why is my scamp running away? Really? Come on, you're bigger. You're better. Nothing on it. And you run off and abandon me again. Why am I still in combat? Who's in combat with me? I don't see anybody. Woo! Um, he's up. Coward, he's over there. Oh. There's actually a person here. This is the part where you oh. oh my gosh. Pain. Agony. There were so many of them. And I just got one tapped. I got one hit. That is not fair. I got one hit. Damn you. Damn you all. How dare you do this to me. Oh well, this is fun where my scamp doesn't listen to me, runs off and then abandons me and gets me killed. Hi! Hi! Running away again! Why are you running away? I've never had this happen on console. You never run away. They always fight. Why are they running away? 
Is it just a scam? So the scam's bugged or something? Because I've never encountered this. Ever. Never, never. Right, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I want to go this way towards the Copicus Vile Shrine. I'm going to save once I get to the Copicus Vile Shrine. Because if my scamp is going to do a, you know, Houdini on me and just run away and disappear in my time of need, this is very painful. You know, I should already be at Skin Grab by now. I should already be last. should be living the dream. But no. Scampy boy decides, I want to run off and play. Now. Okay, I'm not dying there again. Come on, I'm about to take on the world right now. Let's go. Fight. Finish him. Wow. Kill it! Why is it so difficult? You had no problem in the past, and now all of a sudden, you want to be temperamental. Now you're running off again. Why are you running off again? Says who? I don't know where they are, so... Why are my minions so incompetent today? That's a wall. Oh, dear. Your enemies are right over there. Go get them. I am in trouble. We are outnumbered. Terribly outnumbered. Okay, that scamp just disappeared. Must have been a summon scamp. Well, it was bigger, so it might be it. Oh! Go get her! Yes! We will win! We will have victory! Get him! Get them! I believe in you! Woo. Come on! Fight him! Yes! Victory! Very good. That should not have been that much of a pain in the backside. It was. Now, where did the mage die? Give me any potions you have, peasant. Yes! And I am saving after all that. Because that was just... Ridiculous. Absolutely stupid. Stupid, stupid. Our combined might will get us victory. Good, good, my friend. Get me some imp oh, that I need for quests later on is very nice. Okay. Let's try that again. Where are ya? Is it wolf again? Yeah, it is. I knew it. I feel like the render distance to this game is just really short for me for good reason.
Does it look better? Not really. I don't know why. I guess it's the resolution that's the problem. Twelve eighty P by seven twenty. Exit and restart. Okay, I guess I'll be back. So apparently it's something to do with it being on PC. The console version just looks better. That's what it is. It's not anything to do with my resolution. I kinda of had to Google and look around. Apparently, fortunately, the game just looks better on console than it does on PC. Which is interesting, because usually games are supposed to be better on PC than on console in terms of what, supposed to be able to get way more. But I guess it was just the way it ended up being. Yeah, because this looks terrible compared to my console version. Fortunately, I don't have a way to record my console, so... Not really much I could do about it. The reason why I definitely know that it's not just me because I played Oblivion a couple months back on uh, console. So, yeah. One scampy boy. Get them! Very good. Right, we're coming across uh, right by... What do you call it? We're coming right by where that bandit ambushed me and killed me the first time. Oh, yeah. Let's just hope he's not hiding in a bush this time, like a little pain in the arse, a little lemon. Hiding away. Pain in the backside. It really is. Okay. Let's go. Up here, up, up, up the stairs we go. Come to. Yes. That was terrible on my part. Oh, I'm sorry. Mean to hit you, but that, that wolf looks like it's having fun. Okay. This is where the bandit was hiding last time. So now we're actually going to save. That way, if he does kill me this time, coming out of nowhere and being a little pen in the backside, deal with him. What a pain. Give me flax. I want flax. I can make health potions out of flax. Come on then. Where are you? So I walked away from there. I went this way. And this is where he was hiding in the bushes. There. Are you here? Where are you? Weird, a random ale just sitting on the floor. Okay. Where's the bandit? I guess he's not here this time. Or he got stuck. Fine by me. Let's go before he comes back. Hello there. Hello. Go ahead, no. please. Rumors. Is recruiting again. Not a... 
We're good. Take care. Right. Well, we finally made it to Skingrad, so now in the future I can actually fast travel to finally. Uh, that was a long, perilous journey and a pain in the absolute butt, but it is what it is. Pain in the arse. The bandit wasn't there this time. That's fine by me. Boom. Door to Skingrad. We're finally here. Uh, nah, I need to go to the overbridge down there to be able to go. Yes, I do. And I believe I need to be on this side. The Mage's Guild. And the Fighter's Guild. There we are, right where we want to be. Hello. Good tidings, citizen. Have you spoken with Adriana today? I did, in fact. I don't think she was paying attention, though. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm, what? I'm rather busy right now. Oh, is this about joining the Mages Guild? I suppose I could spare the time if necessary. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Any rumours around Why here? The Council of Mages resigned when Travon took over the position of Archmage. Hey now, tell me about Skigrad. What? You want a tour? Can't you see I have a lot on my mind? Go bother a beggar or guard. They stand around and chatter all day. You know, for somebody who wants to join the Mages Guild, you're not setting a very good professional example right now. So I'd watch it if I was you. Now, I would like to join the Mages Guild. You're interested in joining? Great things will be expected of you. Are you sure you're ready for it? I'm definitely. Yes, I want to join the Guild. Then you are now an associate of the Mages Guild. You must receive a recommendation from every local Guild Hall in Cyrodiil before you may advance through the ranks of the Guild. Awesome. In the meantime, as a member of the Guild, you now have full access to the Guild Halls around Cyrodiil. Only the Arcane University is closed to you. That's so. Oh, tell me about the Arcane University. It's been the home of the Mages Guild for the longest time. You should see the library they have there. Ah, it's yes. It's the only place worth visiting in the Imperial City, if you ask me. I only make the trip if I can't find a specific book here. Okay. There's at least one person in every guild hall who offers spells. Check at every hall to make sure you don't miss any. Yes, if I had the coin. So, what do I need to do for your recommendation? I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Urthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? Pretty sure I could. Yes, I'll do it. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. Hey. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. Very well, thank you. Where is it, for? He's... well, he's an interesting fellow. Salinus Vecinus can tell you more about him if you wish to know. Salinus Vecinus should be around here somewhere. Talk to him if you'd like to know more about Earthall. Good. What, what can spells I do in? you sell? You're dis this is a destruction guild. Is not interested right now. But I'll take this and this still out of the cave. and this. Adriana hasn't let him work. This. I'm gonna make me a lot of money from here. Take care. You're Take downstairs, away. aren't you, sir? What is it, Associate? I hear you got quite a task from Adriana. Yeah, sir. For a nice enough guy, I suppose. But there was that awful scamp incident last year. 
That's when Adriana told him he needed to practice somewhere else. Ah. Uh. Somewhere else. Meaning somewhere far away. So he settled down in Bleak Flats Cave, did all his work there, and came back to town twice a week to check in. Hasn't been around lately, though. Bleak Flats Cave, would you mind telling me where that is, good sir? Oh dear, I just can't seem to remember where that is. What a shame. Hmm. Are you sure? The guild can provide you with some training, but the best trainers are usually very hard to find. Any rumors? Not only has necromancy been banned from practice in the Mages Guild, but the Guild won't deal with anyone who openly uses it. Have you met Adriana Berena, our Skingrad Mages Guild head? Not the most pleasant person, I'll admit. <laughs> Don't mind her. Interested in training? I do the conjuration courses, and Druja does the mysticism. Are you sure you For don't you, remember? Of course. Disposition axe. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? So, uh, that's all to write. Do you have anything for a loot? Darn it. I'm here to help with you. What? Who are you? Ah, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? No, you're very rude. Where's Bleak Flats Cave? It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Erthor wound up after Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the Guild Hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. Very well. Thank you very much for the info. Good luck finding Erthor. Alan. Aha. Money. Greetings, Evoca. Not only does Shamir make a good wine at the Tamika Vineyards, I saw really good me. Bow, too. I heard he'll train you for a fee. I love it. All this stuff is free. In the vineyard, it's a wonder he has time to practice his marksmanship. You're here about that recommendation, I presume. Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? Yes. By we, I mean you, of course. Of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. Well, don't I already know? Don't I already have that? Oh, wait, I've already got... That's why I couldn't... I've already got it. Oh, that's interesting. I know summon skeleton, apparently. Right. Okay, well, where did... Where did I get these from? Eight for Starlight. Skeleton's weaker than Champ. I also know Soothing Touch for Calming. Dub Hell. Okay, I already know this as well. An Undead. Ah. Ah. I might want to, uh... Have that instead of flare light. That does six points. Well, that does five points in five feet for three seconds. So I think that's. Uh, I think the way this works in game is that'll be fifteen points of damage. It's only one more, so definitely a much better fire spell. Without a doubt. Oh, um, that's a problem. Well. I'm sure I could make something. No. Have a look. 
cheese wheel. They weigh quite a lot. Apple. Cheese. And flour. How much luck? I don't want to damage the lot. Oh, that's only for. I'm now no longer on over income. That will do for now. I can sell all these items. Be uh, very useful and handy. But yeah, that's interesting that I already have those spells. I'm guessing because I'm apprenticing them, I got given them automatic. I didn't buy them. But I'll take it. Hammer and tongue. Um, actually, best trader in the game is in Anvil, but I'm not running all the way to Anvil. Okay, there we go. Right, I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. This will be episode two for now. So next episode, we'll actually go get her for, and um. Basically, that should be very handy to do that. So, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you much, guys, for watching. Peace.